Welcome to today's workout. I've got a prenatal 20 minute upper body strength workout. We're gonna use dumbbells, but you can use whatever you have. I'm using a set of 10s. Feel free to go a little bit lighter if you'd like. Let's get our weights ready for our first exercise. We're gonna start with a bicep curl. So feet under your hips, really simple. We're gonna rotate those weights up to the shoulders and then bring them down. Here we go. 50 seconds on. Twist at the fist, bring those weights up to about shoulder height. Bring those thumbs to the outside. <clears throat> and as we move the weights, we wanna keep those knees soft and then our chest up and abs braced. And that means pulling your belly button in toward your spine. Yeah, you still have abs even though you're pregnant. And that way we stabilize the body. So we're working the arms, the arms are doing the work, not using momentum from the legs. And we have timed reps today or timed intervals, so there's no need to count your reps, just as many as you can in the time period. We're almost there. We've got a 10 second break. Rest. All right, we're gonna move on to a hammer curl. So this one, we take the rotation out. We're just gonna bring the dumbbell straight up, straight down like a hammer. So right up to those shoulders, back down. You can hear stabilize bending the knees. Bracing your abs. And you can see from the side, my elbows are just slightly forward of my shoulders as I'm coming up. You can feel that in the head of that bicep muscle. Depending on how many your weight, how heavy your weights are, you might be able to do more or less reps, but it's more about controlling the weight than the quantity of reps. So again, we like with most things, quality over quantity. Nice. All right, we're gonna move to a curl to an overhead press. So back to the first move, and then we rotate those dumbbells up and back. Let's do it. Curl, rotate and press, come back through that curl, and then all the way down to your legs. <clears throat> so you can see, I'm not arching my back to get those weights overhead. I'm keeping my hips in neutral, my core strong, my knees soft. So we're getting those biceps, we're getting the shoulders, even the core as we extend those arms overhead is having to work hard. Last 10 seconds. <clears throat> nice. Moving on to a front raise. So we're gonna bring those arms straight up, a little bit lower than the shoulders. Dumbbells face the ground. Knees soft, abs tight. Here we go. Take it up, down. It's about shoulder level or a little bit lower. You can see from the side, again, knees soft, so I'm not moving my hips to get the weight up, I'm not arching my back. Weight stops just below those shoulders, or about shoulder height if you can get there, but I don't want you going higher than the shoulders. That's where that maximum point of tension is. And then if you're getting higher than the shoulders, you're probably swinging your hips to get the weights up. <clears throat> so again, it's about control here. Almost there. Beautiful. All right, moving on to a lateral raise. We're gonna take those arms straight out to the side. Again, about shoulder height or a little bit lower. Here we go. Out and down. Now this one, your arms are straight by your side. But if that's too difficult with the weight, you can bend your elbows a little bit so you're not fully extending those arms. And that's a little bit of a shorter lever, so it makes it a slightly easier exercise. <clears throat> but the best thing to do if it's too difficult, you can't make it through the set, is to grab a set of lighter weights. Or just don't do as many, take breaks. You're pregnant, do what you can. That's my motto for pregnancy fitness. 
You gotta listen to your body, respect your limits, and respect what your body's capable of, which looks different. All right, dropping one weight. <clears throat> we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna hold that weight in both hands, bring it overhead, take it down and back to the base of the neck, and straight up. So again, good posture, good technique here, knees soft, abs tight. That weight goes back and down. You can see as I'm taking it back and down, everything else is staying still, shoulders are staying still, and my elbows are in tight so I can see them out of the corners of my eyes. That's how you know you're in a good position. <clears throat> I'm trying to point those elbows to the ceiling. It's gonna get into the head of that tricep muscle. Fully extend those arms, big squeeze right here. Try not to pull your hair while you're doing it. I always manage to do that. All right, we're making our way to the floor. Drop your dumbbells. We're gonna do a kneeling wide push up. So hands about as wide as the mat. Bring your chest forward so your shoulders are over your wrists. Drop down, chest to elbow level, or as low as you can go, and then push back up. Let's go again. Down, up. So I want a nice flat back here, core tight. Elbows going wide. Fingertips are spread apart. I'm pushing through the heels of my hands here. Now if that's too hard, you can bring your knees in like this and keep going. <clears throat> the bigger your belly is, the harder it will be to get lower in the push-up, and that's okay. You can also move to the wall and do these push-ups on the wall. But if we walk those knees back a little further, it's gonna add a little more tension for the shoulders and for the core. Just make sure you're keeping that core braced throughout the movement and you're taking it slow, breathing throughout. All right, we're gonna take one of those dumbbells for a tricep kickback. One leg forward, same arm on the leg, opposite hand has the weight. We're gonna take that weight up to the hip, extend, bend, and release. So it's a kickback row. We bring it up, extend, bend, release. So that elbow's about 90 degrees, and then we're trying to extend that arm straight back. We're tipping forward from the hip to allow that extension, but I don't want you to collapse. That chest is still lifted. The abs are still braced. We're controlling the movement. It is a single arm exercise. You may have to go a little bit lighter on this one or just slow it down, take your time. This is a great defining exercise for the back and the triceps. Good work, guys. We're moving to the other side. I'm just gonna flip around. So reset. Nice posture. Let's take that weight up, back, in, and down. And it's not about how much weight or how many you can do, it's about control, about good technique. Almost there. Last one, I think. All right, we're gonna go to a narrow push-up. So this one, hands are shoulder width apart. It's gonna work those triceps a little more. Knees back, elbows wrap around your ribs. Bring that chest down about elbow level again, and then push it up. So those elbows go to the back now. Your shoulders are still over your wrist. Your chest still goes about elbow level or as low as you can go. You find those elbows start to flare or this is too difficult. Again, you can bring those knees in. The key here is keeping those elbows in tight and then giving me a nice bend right there and pushing through the heels of your hands to create that tension in that tricep muscle. You see that? Almost there. 
Less than 10 seconds now. Nice, all right, to your feet, grab your weights. We're starting from the top, halfway, bicep curls. <clears throat> Here we go, take it up and down. So rotate those dumbbells, thumbs to the outside. Now this round, we're working against fatigue. You feel it? A Little bit out of breath, that's what we want. Again, try not to move your body too much. Stay still under the weight so we make the arms do the work. We're really working hard today. Whew. Even I feel like this one is tough. But that's what I like to do is give everybody a challenge no matter what level you're at. Rest. And maybe you're doing heavy weights, maybe you're doing light weights, maybe you're doing no weights for a few and taking lots of breaks. Whatever you're doing, you're doing what you can. And that's what's the key here. Hammer curls, up and down. I did a lot of biceps because if you're pregnant, you're gonna have to carry around a baby. Even more than that, you're gonna have to carry around those infant car seats that weigh a million pounds. And guess which muscles you're gonna have to use a lot? Your biceps. So you're welcome. I feel like during my postpartum period, that was one of the muscles that never atrophied when I couldn't work out, it was my biceps, because I was constantly having to lug around my daughter and then the car seat. And those car seats are so heavy. Almost there. But I'm better for it now. Second time, it's gonna be a breeze, I think. Rest. All right, we're going to that curl to overhead press. So reset, knee soft, abs tight. Remember that weight's going overhead, so we want a strong core here. Let's do it. Curl, press it up, curl, reset. Whew. Feel that stretch at the top, that connection between those shoulder blades. Getting into the backs of those shoulders. Brace that core, do you feel that? Anytime you take a weight overhead, your core is working. So you don't necessarily have to be doing ab work here. You're still getting some core work. With this, with the push-ups, with that tricep extension, with the shoulder exercises. But if you are looking for some core work, you know I've got a ton of prenatal core exercises and videos on this channel. I've got a little bit of everything whatever type of workout you're looking for. All right, we're moving to that front raise. So again, resetting, those weights are gonna come forward, shoulder height, ready, let's go. Again, try not to lean away from the weight. I know, it's difficult, right? But when you keep those arms straight like this, really challenges your shoulders. And then, like I said earlier, it challenges your core because you're having to brace hard to avoid leaning back, to avoid compensating with your hips. <clears throat> 20 seconds on the clock, we got them. Only a few more, stay with it. This is one of the harder ones, I think. All right, lateral raise. Again, you can take those arms straight out or a little bit bent or anywhere in between. Here we go. Second round, we fit fatigue, but the good news is we're a little bit warmer. So sometimes we can push a little bit harder. Even for 10 seconds, could you go a little bit wider with your arms? Could you try to stretch them out a little bit more? You don't have to do it the whole interval. But it's all about those little things, going one step further than you did last time to really get your body to change. You can't just do the same thing over and over again 
and expect change, right? So even during pregnancy, we can increase our fitness. I mean, working out during pregnancy is a whole other level of fitness. All right, we're going to a tricep extension. So bring one weight down, feet under hips, weight in both hands, knees soft, abs tight. Take it up and take it back. Again, keeping those hips steady, shoulders back and down. Pointing those elbows to the ceiling. Big squeeze at the top. <clears throat> Hang in there team, we're almost there. Less than 10 seconds now. All right, moving to the floor for that wide push-up. Again, hands about as wide as the mat, fingertips apart. Take it forward, shoulders over wrists, and let's push up chest elbow level and take it up. Push through those palms, brace your core hard, squeeze that belly button in toward your spine as you come up. For me, it helps if I exhale on the way up. Helps engage that TVA, that transverse abdominis. And this exercise <clears throat> is almost equally about your core as it is your arms and your glutes. You've gotta have all three strong and working together to really nail the push up and have good technique. And again, bring those knees in for a couple or the whole time, wherever you're at. <clears throat> Fight to stay in the work with a little less and five seconds to go. Time. All right, tricep kick back. One leg up. Hinge forward. Chest up, abs tight. Let's row up. Extend, bend, release. Again, controlled. 90 degrees, extend. And try to bring that weight every time it's at your hip. So you feel that work right here. Whew. We're nearing the finish, you guys. Less than three minutes, almost two minutes now. We can do this. It will be worth it when it's over. Time. All right, other leg, other arm. <clears throat> Hinge forward, brace that core, take it up. Isolating and defining. That's what these kickback rows do. Shoulders, back, triceps, we get it all with this one. And the core because we're having to support ourselves to maintain good posture, keep them collapsing into that leg. Kneeling narrow push-ups. Here we go. Hands shoulder width apart. Fingertips forward, elbows to the back. Let's see how low we can get that chest this round. Here we go. <clears throat> Pulling that belly button in toward the spine at the top. Remember, exhale. Squeeze those elbows in. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Remember, you can modify here. If you're starting to run out of energy or lose your technique. It's a home stretch though. 
Got a push, stay with me. Got this, couple more. Nice, we made it. 20 minutes, upper body strength. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to check out my prenatal stretch workouts to relieve those tight shoulders um, and whatever other muscles you need. So let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you back here next time for our next pregnancy workout.